Cooking first is one of only 17 people in the whole country to hold two Michelin stars. Andrew, Andrew Fowley is one of the 17 as well. Yes. There you go. It's the brilliant Daniel oh, Clifford. Seen, yeah. Well, welcome Morning. back, Daniel. Morning. So Very on much. the menu, seasonality for you, seasonality, first, first yeah. of all. Asparagus. Right. I believe Cambridge asparagus is, uh, is brilliant. We're all You're going to say the best then, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're all going to argue about it. So right. basically, we're going to we're going to griddle some asparagus to yeah. as a garnish. We're going to make a velouté. We're going to poach some eggs. The eggs are going to be wrapped in potato. And, uh, this is asparagus, asparagus, but, the, the, but the, some fun things with the poached eggs. Things, that's you want it. to get me on right, to do so, the eggs. Uh, I'm going to start prepping the asparagus straight away. Right. So you want the? Uh, do you want a touch of vinegar in the? Uh, <clears throat> touch of vinegar, chef, in there, and a bit of salt, and I'll that's take it. it in that water. Right. So just quick, um, the reason I'm snapping these down is is uh, just to get that rid of that woody bit. It's not going to blend that well. This is this is the, we're about halfway through the season now. We were yeah. with the asparagus. So well, it's been a strange year this bad. year. So uh, no, this is beautiful. After Scotland, you've got pretty good asparagus, don't you? Yeah, not that? too bad. You'd have to come down and taste it, sure. <laughs> well, it has been strange for asparagus. I mean, I've, tr I've tried to grow some in the garden. It's, it's been OK this year, but some people have not been producing that good a crop well, of the, asparagus. But the, the, the whole season's completely changed for everything this year. It's strange. I've put some tomatoes in the greenhouse, and they're, uh, they're flying at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm not too keen on the white asparagus, and I don't know why. Well, that's because just it grown, it's basically the same, but it's just grown yeah. under, under, well, flat bin liners, it really. It's just it's, something about it. It's yeah. It doesn't right. have the it same flavour, right, I don't yeah. think it does, but... <laughs> well, in France, they use it a lot, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. 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 in France, and, that, and talking about the tongue, I remember, you know, that cooking that quite a lot uh -huh. in France as well, so... Yeah. But anyway, this is so for the that, puree that's that for the puree, so now what I'm going to do is just quickly dice an onion down to get that sweated off. Right. You want me to chop this asparagus for the soup? Chop the asparagus for the soup, please. That'd be lovely. The eggs in, yeah? Uh, one egg's in, yeah. One egg's in. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, been very busy. Now, so, so tell us about Midsummer House then, because it's the, the common um, it's, yeah, place it's, there. You've had that, what, 15 years? I've had it 14 years. 14 this is my years. Going into my 15th year. Right. It's been, uh, it's been a roller coaster, really. I, I've, I've had some of the, you know, the best years of my life there. Yeah. And uh, we've been flooded twice. This year... <laughs> right. <laughs> this year... Uh, it's been right on the river, isn't it? Yeah, really? right on the river. Yeah. So, but this year it's been... Uh, it's been phenomenal. I've just put a new uh, conservatory on, which might taken us up to 70 covers, because we used to be 45. Right. Because we had so, so many people wanting to get in on the weekends. Yeah. But uh, now I can near enough cook for everybody. That, yeah, that's straight in. Yeah, straight in. Right, so once that's sweated down... Yeah. This is for the soup. The it? idea of the soup is that everything has to be cooked really, really quickly to keep yeah. that... maximise the flavour and maximise um, the taste, really. So yeah. I'm going to quickly... So this is hot already. This is like a, a light brown chicken stock. Yeah. That goes in. So that needs to cook out for about five minutes. Right. So we just bring that to the boil. That's it. Right. And this one over here is for the puree that you've got with it as well, yeah? This one here? This one. Yep. So yeah. right now, all I've got to do now is turn a couple of bits of asparagus down. Right. Very quickly. I'm just amazed at the poached egg. Like, how easy it is. <laughs> That's <laughs> my bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that. It's really egg. difficult. Yes. He just makes it look easy. to make a poached egg. <laughs> Now, I basically just use boiling salted water, <coughs> a touch of vinegar, and then just swirl it round and crack the egg in the middle. And then just literally, you, you turn the heat down and just do it across. But it's a good mm. way of keeping it in ice cold water. It keeps the shape. Yeah, it's the, it's the swirling bit. It's, it's just like a yeah, big, that, 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 that makes it go nice and round, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't go all, yeah. all flat. And good eggs. Good eggs is a oh, big secret. Yeah. So right now, all I'm doing now is just quickly going to take the, uh, the, oil, the, the, the bees off. They're just a bit chewy. And I'm just going to quickly turn it down. This is the way they do it in France. So just, just take that bit down there. Do you do that at home, Daniel? No, I don't do it at home, no. <laughs> so why don't you put the little line around it? Why is that? Well, just to make it look smart. Right. It's one of those chef tricks that we do. That you do? But, I mean, you said in rehearsal that your, that your menu's simplified. I, I, I'm simplifying over. everything because <laughs> I... Simplified. Well, <laughs> this is simplified. Yeah. should have seen it ten years ago. It was chaotic then. Yeah. No, I, I, I have... I've, I've basically concentrated more on taste now. Taste and flavour. I've, I've got gone over my days when I'm putting 15 things on the plate. Now, as you see, I just put a lot of asparagus on. Well, it's the way that p people's tastes have changed as well, don't you think? But, but certainly when it comes to the, that two-star level, I mean, you say, you know, making things simple, but it's still got to be... An element of complicated, has it? Yeah, but it's, yeah, it, yeah, it has. I think you know. But the end of the day is, is I've come to a point. Uh, as you get older, you start realizing that you know your taste change, the way that you think about food changes. Your Obviously, knees are hurting. Your knees are hurting. <laughs> yes. you know, and, and, and lifestyle, lifestyle changes as well. And you know, I'm cooking in Cambridge for people that you know. They, they, 
they want to come and have a, a fantastic experience, but they also want to recognise what they're eating and know what they're eating. And make, it's down to produce. Yeah. If the produce is brilliant, you shouldn't. You should be doing li less to it. Yeah. I've decided I don't like tasting menus. Oh god. Yeah. Right. <laughs> because <laughs> there's too much. It goes on forever, and there's just too many different flavours. I don't know, maybe that's a glass region in me, I just like... Yeah, anyway, moving on. You've, yeah, moving on. You've got a taste of Yeah, I've got a taste of menus, yeah. I won't have that when I come to Cambridge. No, either. so basically, so... <laughs> you've just really thrown me there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll just do your chicken and chips, that's right. <laughs> right, this potatoes, you mentioned the great, great produce. This, yeah. this, what, are the, what type these of are, are These are called Chipper's Choice, and uh, the reason I use Chipper's Choice potatoes is because, they're, they're the, for me, they're the best frying potatoes. So you get a really, really nice, crispy... What, this uh, in the puree? That goes in the puree, chef. So basically, that's burnt oil, and boiled cream. Yeah. And the soup's going to be about two minutes away. You want a bit of spinach in there. A bit as of well. spinach just for colour. Yeah. So potatoes are peeled. But well, I'm just going to drop this in boiled salt with water. All right. So that's the turned asparagus. That just gets cooked for about two minutes, just to to uh, release the flavour, and then I'm going to griddle it. Right. And then just char grill it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So you can prepare these in advance then, I suppose. Yeah, these, these yeah, yeah everything to... can be done. I mean, you mentioned the speed of the soup. That's the key, the common thing with this. It's got to be prepared as fast as possible. Well, to keep the colour. Yeah. Keep the colour and keep the flavour. And I'll put Bernoisette in this because I think asparagus has got a little, lovely little nutty flavour. Right, I'll move that out of the way. Right, so the Thank eggs. And I'll lift this asparagus off. There you go. So you want this char grill in just a little bit? Char grill that. Turn that off. Right, so for the uh, for the egg, I've just trimmed off the, the excess. Right, now James, I'm just going to run this through the uh, the slicer. Right, I'm just going to pop this in there. Yeah, because the, the, the soup is close. I'll do that. Remember, if you'd like to ask a question on the show, then you can call this number. That's uh, 033-0123-1410. That's 033-0123-1410. Calls are charge at your standard network rate, and if you need to put your questions to us live a little later on. Spinach in there last minute. That's it, just to keep the yeah. colour again. Right, so this, this is the Japanese turning slicer. I'm there, I'm watching. So all you do <laughs> is, uh, you keep your thumb on there, and you get this beautiful spaghetti. Wow. Yeah, Dawn's going to buy one of them so, on a shopping channel, you yeah, can see yeah. that. Yeah. I was looking at the mixer as well, but then I just heard, <laughs> yeah. heard the price of it. <laughs> so this is... Wow. So this is what I presume is what they did, a little moolie out of that. Yeah, moolies, moolie salads. And stuff, yeah. It's just, just a bit of... To, for me, I, I just... Yeah, I'm renowned for using it, and I, it's just a bit of fun. And yeah. For me, this, this whole dish is very child-friendly. It's a great way to get the kids to eat... Uh, Sweet eggs. And as you say, simple. Well, <laughs> right. so the eggs you can prepare That's them it. in advance. Prepare the eggs. Water, That's yeah. it. It's so I mean, brilliant. I'm so impressed with that. Just might like make an elastic band ball. Right. So when you eat it, it's crispy. Yeah. Yeah. It's all runny mm. in the middle. Oh, so that goes straight in the fryer. All right. And then we'll pass this through a sieve. Asparagus is looking beautiful. Getting a... I'm definitely so this... coming to your restaurant when we're in Cambridge. <laughs> it won't be any tasting menus. Take them off that <laughs> so the soup that you've got in here, this is, the reason for the spinach is to keep the colour, just to yeah, just to keep give you a nice green colour. Yeah. Love the tea towel today. That's tea towel's close. Oh. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's the puree, chef. There you go. That's the puree. Asparagus so... is on. Eggs are in. It's good to see James running. Uh. <laughs> yeah. If you had to cook your dish, it's tons of stuff. Going on there. Yeah. Right, for me, like, lemon juice is really, it's the third seasoning in my eyes, and I think with asparagus it really, really does help enhance it. But you, you, it needs to be a last minute thing because the acid right. will start to kill the colour. So, let's get a spoon and taste that quickly. I'm there. Right, asparagus. Is the egg fine, chef? It, it Eggs needs to come be... in, chef. It's on its way. There you go. There you go, right. Right, puree's done. Happy with that. That's lovely. Off. There you go. Right. Just season that up. So there's your so explain to us what this is then. This is the this is the burnt onion ash. Yeah, so basically what you do is you really it's easy, it's easy to make. It's easy, it's easy to make, yeah. Yeah, you really, really char grill the onions without any oil at all. Yeah. Uh, but they've got to be black. Both sides. 
Is that rust in the oven then? Just... No, no, just on, on the stove. Okay. Really, really, really heavily caramelise them. Right. Then put them in the oven overnight at 60 degrees and then just blend it. And it's just, it brings, uh, it, it's funny, you know, the idea comes from a hot dog. And when you have hot dogs, you have burnt onions. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where, it, that, that's where most of my inspiration comes from now. What, from I'm, a hot dog stand? Yeah, I love hot dogs. <laughs> Uh, right, soup is uh, <laughs> right, the eggs there, so we're ready eggs to there, so right, but there. It's very simple. Nice piece of puree, just right in the middle to, for the egg to sit on. One of the uh, just really, really, really heavily, so that sits there nicely like that. Got that lovely charred, yeah, charred flavour there. Got onion powder everywhere. The egg sits on there like that, and then at the restaurant normally we would just pour this in at the table, but we're going to do it here. Look at that colour. Lovely, isn't it? Lovely. And that's just got a little bit of lemon juice in it. Just the lemon juice at the end, just to bring out the nuttiness. So tell us what that is. is so it it's basically velouté asparagus with uh, crispy hen's egg and uh, griddled asparagus with burnt onion. Easy as that. Thank you. <laughs> right. I've come to Epsom Downs Racecourse for the Derby weekend. I'd love to hang around to meet the Queen, but I've got to head into town to find some great wines for the Diamond Jubilee Saturday Kitchen. Daniel, your dish is a real asparagus fest, and I'm looking for a dry, crisp white wine to match it. I could choose something like this Bourgogne Aligoté from the Burgundy region of France. But given the predominantly green flavours in your dish, I'm going to match like with like and choose a Sauvignon Blanc. Now, the one I've picked is quite unusual because it comes from the Elqui Valley in northern Chile, and it's the 2011 Castillo de Molina Sauvignon Blanc Reserve. The Elqui Valley is in northern Chile, close to the Atacama Desert. It looks like the surface of the moon. And the reason the Chileans can produce crisp, refreshing wines like this one in such a hot, arid place is the proximity of the cool Pacific Ocean and the coastal breezes it brings. On the nose, classic cool climate aromas of grapefruit, asparagus, and a hint of green bean. On the palate, there's enough acidity to cut through the richness of the egg and that creamy asparagus puree. It's a nice little savoury note which picks up on the burnt onion and the predominantly green flavours are the perfect foil for the spinach and the seasonal asparagus. Daniel, asparagus and Sauvignon Blanc is a classic match and with this brilliant value chilling example, you can see why. Cheers. <laughs>